Hello and welcome back again to the wonderful viewers. Now, today's video, we are going to be seeing one of the biggest challenges you are going to be having when dealing with the virtual DJ user interface. In our present day world, we live in a world where you, when you are DJing, you don't need to worry yourself about carrying big, big earpiece and be struggling with it and be seeing if actually what you are doing is slowing or not. For you to really come out of this big problem, you need to understand how the virtual DJ user interface works, which gives you real-time information of everything that is going on and how you'll be able to get the perfect or good result that you are looking for, irrespective of whether it's in the virtual DJ controller or Serato DJ tractor Acid Pro, whatever software you're using. So you really need to pay attention to what I'm going to be talking about now. The sound that is currently playing now, you look at it. We have the sound wave. This is it. This sound wave is giving us a lot of information that. Even by the glance of the screen, you should know exactly what is going on with your with the tracks that you are playing. If you are bit matching, you know if your tracks are going properly or not. If you are starting a hot queue, you should already know exactly what is going to happen as you are starting that particular hot queue. As you are clicking this very key, as you are clicking this very key, you should know exactly where your sound is starting. So all this information are graphic design that have already more, the software developers are putting energy to put everything for you to make it very easy for you. That is why in our present day world. While you are mixing, you understand that you don't need to worry yourself, especially for the aspect of those who are into scratches and finger drumming. You cannot be looking at the screen 247 and be looking at your keyboard and be seeing and be thinking of, oh, what exactly is the sound I'm pressing? So it's going to be serious headache for you. So when you master what is going on on the screen, it becomes very easy for you, for you to play the drums and do whatsoever without really paying so much attention on this just have a little glance just the way when you drive a glance on the screen of your dashboard should give you exactly information of what is going on on your engine so the same thing is also applicable here this requires that you are going to be learning a lot of things about the so user interface you really need to understand what is going on at every point in time the sound wave here just as you can clearly see this very point this blue point is telling us that this is a very heat point there's very big sound here remember sounds are made up of wave and you can see the movement of the wave how the wave is is designed in a waveform and this waveform for those who watch one of my videos i talked about it, how the impact amplifier works you understand that wave are being generated with the aid of capacitor and coil so these two elements store charges that vibrate that is why when you look at your speakers you see in between your speakers there is a coil so that coil generates a lot of magnetic wave that throws out this vibration just as this wave you are seeing here as this sound is moving like this that is how the wave is going to be pushing in we get pushed to the speaker and for this wave to push into the speaker properly is being monitored in the graphic form that we call db if you look at this very point we have db here that is telling us that the volume of compression of the wave how it is being formed this volume on its own is just another element that takes care of controlling the output but the major sound that you really need to watch out for is this db because this db will determine what exactly will go happen to your amplifier and what happens at your speaker because when the db is become become so high look at it i'm going to adjust this the gain just watch the wave you see what will happen to the wave you see exactly what will happen to the wave by the time i increase the db just look at it here look at the db here this is the wave that is it by the time i'm increasing it, you see the sound is expanding it's expanding it's expanding expanding so by the time you put in so much db out there look at it plus 8 point something db you come to understand that you are overstretching the amplitude of the amplifier as well as the amplitude of the speaker the speaker has an elastic point which the coil can expand to and comes back even the capacitor has an elastic point of what the kind of energy you are pumping into it if you over pump the energy so much it gets to a point where one side of it will be overstretched and you will not have a balanced movement of the wave the way it's supposed to be i wish i have a graphic demonstration of these things you really get to appreciate it but with time i will put up something much more better then you get to appreciate what you are saying so this wave that are moving you see them this sound element that are moving with this wave that is how it's going to be vibrating on a speaker and sending the sound out so when you overstretch the speaker you are going to be hearing some kind of funny funny sounds that you might not really like and that is what caused a lot of problems for a lot of people on the amplifier by the time you overstretch the capacitor you have problems sooner or later your capacitors on your trapped amplifier will begin to have issues then before you know it sends that same problem to your speakers so we live in a world where you really need to understand the concept of sound, sound engineering very well so that you have proper sound management as you are pushing the sound out 
you make sure that everything is communicating effectively from your DJ software to your controller, if you are a controller user, to your amplifier, to your speakers, to your whatsoever device you are connecting. There are a lot of devices out there. So striking this balance is very, very important. By the time you bring down the DB, you see, as I'm reducing it, you see, you see how the, the width is reducing too. The amplitude, that is the gap of the sound. So when you expand the sound too much, you see, by the time I look at my hand on the screen, that's exactly what happened. When I put it, as I narrow it, you get to see it better. But by the time I begin to expand it, just the way I do it this way, I do it this way. You understand that I get to a point where I overstretch my hand. If I overstretch my hand, you will not be able to identify the difference in the sounds again. The entire sound becomes noise. That is, at this point, you cannot see if my hand is moving again. This is exactly what will happen by the time I overstretch it, you see. You see. So this is what causes so much problem for a lot of people. You will see the start event. The moment they start the event, after a few minutes, you begin to see that everything begins to misbehave. So try to have this effective time management so that you don't overstretch your systems where you'll be having problem. Before you know when they start the event, one speaker is no longer working. Ah, what happened? Village people. There is no any village people. You refuse to learn what you are supposed to learn. So put in that effort, learn it. It's deliberate. You really need to know all these things. So I'll be stopping here for today. Let's get to see more. More will be coming. Keep a date as I continue to give you.